Global markets rejoiced today after America's central bank decided to leave the money tap wide open. Equity markets soared and the U.S. dollar was dumped as the Fed refrained from winding back its stimulus program. The Australian dollar surged to a three-month high, leaving the Reserve Bank with a major headache. Here's finance correspondent Philip Lasker. Confirmation from the world's most powerful central banker that the U.S. economy still needs all the help it can get. Conditions in the job market today are still far from what all of us would like to see. If you look at it, the U.S. currently has a very high unemployment rate. It has inflation too low, below its inflation target. The recovery has been faltering recently. And um, in Congress right now, Congress is monkeying around, suggesting they might cause all sorts of macroeconomic strife in the next few months. So the massive $85 billion monthly bond buying program is unchanged. Bond rates were rising in response to strong expectations the Fed would begin reining in its stimulus program. And a sharp rise in borrowing costs was one reason America's central bank took the surprisingly cautious approach. Ben Bernanke had to face questions about the expectations he created earlier this year when he said the Fed would begin cutting back. We could move later this year. Uh, we could begin later this year. But even if we do that, the subsequent steps will be dependent on continued progress in the economy. So we are tied to the data. We don't have a fixed calendar uh, schedule. And so today really was Bernanke clarifying that really uh, they do remain committed to the fight against unemployment and um, they will change their mind as the data comes in. And um, that was a useful wake-up call for the markets. Investors weren't complaining as they sent Wall Street soaring to a record high. The announcement also undermined the US currency. So the Australian dollar surged nearly two US cents to a three-month peak, not what Australia's struggling exporters and manufacturers need. Today's survey on industrial trends highlighted the threat posed by a strong Australian dollar. But it does show that uh, the actual conditions, those on the ground affecting uh, businesses in, in the manufacturing sector, actually deteriorated over the last three months. So over the quarter there was a, a contraction in activity which clearly is of concern. It underlines the policy problem faced by a reserve bank with a recovering property sector on its hands. We've got weak growth, we've got inflation that's very benign, we've got unemployment rising, and now you've got a currency at a three-month high. It's a, it's a pretty toxic combination for the reserve bank. If the Australian dollar stays strong, it'll be a most unwelcome headwind that the Reserve Bank will have to target with its only weapon. To us it just means that the case for a rate cut in November or even October is, is now strengthened. Reserve Bank Governor Glenn Stevens is now left with the collateral damage caused by his American counterpart.